Yeah, guys, you might need to pop open a cold one for this. It's like, you ever watch a movie where you have those moments that'll make you feel good and you see glimpses of goodness in there, but yet there's so little substance? There's so little actual healthy benefits to actually ingesting this material? Well, kind of like Pepsi and kind of like Pop-Tarts, that's what you get with Unfrosted. This stinker of a comedy was directed by Jerry Seinfeld. It stars him and a bunch of really funny people in here. You got Melissa McCarthy, Amy Schumer, Jim Gaffigan, and there's a couple of very underutilized cameos in here. And this one is very loosely based on the creation of the Pop-Tart. We're set in 1963, Battle Creek, Michigan, home of the headquarters of two sworn serial rivals, Kellogg's and Post. Literally, they're portrayed to be directly across the street from one another. And both companies are racing to create a toaster pastry that will change the face of breakfast forever. Now, right off the bat, the talent that you see in this movie is certainly there. A lot of these people, especially Melissa McCarthy and Amy Schumer, I have found hilarious in other projects. And you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to go ahead and spoil some of these cameos here. You actually do have Hank from Breaking Bad making a cameo in here as Khrushchev. He plays a Russian guy. Yeah, and you have Peter Dinklage in here leading this mafia boss of milk people. It's so freaking bizarre. But those little shining bright spots with those cameos that actually did make me chuckle a little bit, that saved Unfrosted from being a total disaster of a comedy for me. And I'll give the movie at least credit for this much. The production design aspect of it I thought was really great. For a live action film, this is extremely vibrant. The colors absolutely pop off of your TV screen. In a sense, just like the turn of television in the early 60s, we're now living in so much energetic color here. And I think the whole production aspect of Unfrosted cannot go unnoticed in the grand scheme of things. Because my god, this screenplay and these some of these performances, honestly, a lot of these jokes here, the point of comedy is to make you laugh, right? And I was looking at a lot of these jokes and I was sitting there like, no, that's not that funny. And look, I feel like if you were a fan of sitcoms, especially in the 90s when those things were incredibly popular, you were either a Seinfeld fan or you were a Friends fan. You couldn't be one or the other. And I think it's safe to assume which show I have my allegiance towards. And believe me, I tried. I tried to watch an episode or two of Seinfeld and I just didn't find it funny. I don't think Jerry Seinfeld is all that funny. I'm sorry. I always find his sense of humor and his overall delivery, I just find it to be weird and awkward. A big part of what makes comedy work is the timing. And I don't think Jerry Seinfeld really has that. And yet this guy's a freaking legend. And yeah, it's pretty much more of the same what you would expect from Jerry Seinfeld out of this movie. I mean, I'll give them credit, again, even though the production design is certainly there, the direction is pretty unremarkable. And the writing, I feel like, is what really tanks this movie. Because look at this cast that he's assembled. Melissa McCarthy, Amy Schumer, Jim Gaffigan, and all these comedic legends are trying their best to make the most out of just pure mediocrity. And none of these jokes are landing for me. And I can't fault the actors at all. None of them are just given anything funny to say. Like, how do you have an absolute comedic icon like Peter Dinklage, who is very underrated when it comes to funny? How do you give him a couple of scenes worth of work and nothing? When I was laughing at people like Peter Dinklage and Hank from Breaking Bad, I was laughing more so at the presence of them actually being here. And damn, it's like this is a loosely based true story type of movie. I'd honestly rather just go watch a documentary about how the Pop-Tart was actually made. Because believe it or not, I love Pop-Tarts. Can't get enough of them, man. My family, growing up, our entire Guller household loved Pop-Tarts. And we still do. This movie felt more like a glorified comedic showcase for Jerry Seinfeld more than telling a true story, though. And God, don't even get me started on the funeral sequence in this. One of the most tasteless comedic angles I have seen in a while. Like, this is tasteless comedy that Vince McMahon wishes that he would be able to write. It was inexcusably awkward and just, ugh, yeah, not good. So if you're scrolling through Netflix and you see Unfrosted pop up in your recommended section, this is absolutely a recommended pass from me. Because a lot like the Pop-Tart, it's got a lot of color and a lot of sparkle on it, but that can only do so much for your overall benefit and well-being. I'm going to give Unfrosted a D+. Now, I recognize that there will absolutely be fans of Seinfeld who go and check this out. 
And who am I to tell you no? That's more power to you. That's the amazing thing about movies, and that's the amazing thing about television and all forms of entertainment. It's subjective. A lot of people are going to find Unfrosted extremely hilarious. And you know what? That is totally fine by me. I'm just a guy who's sitting here voicing my opinion and getting in front of this camera and talking to you guys about what I've been watching. And if you like discussing all new things in the cinematic world, this is a great channel to be a part of. So do consider subscribing today. Tap on that thumbs up as well if you haven't already. And stay tuned for more videos very soon. I'm looking forward to catching Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes tomorrow with the time of recording. May looks like a pretty stacked month when it comes to blockbusters. We had The Fall Guy last weekend. My review is already up for that. I can't wait to watch that movie again. And we got more big, gigantic movies down the pipeline as the summer season gets into another gear. Y'all are the best. Look out for more videos very soon, guys. Thank you again for your support. And with all that being said, Back Talk, commence.